Hey guys, how you doing? It's Timbo here, old school lads. Here is my first 2019 Gorilla Hat Keto Move of the Week video. It's going to be a technique that I've actually been using ever since I moved down here to Tampa, Florida. I visited uh, Grandmaster N1 Kim. And I went to a, a seminar hosted there, taught by uh, instructor Che, a uh, Korean judo guy, not a very friendly guy actually. He, uh, he started with some techniques of people. Well, think about for one minute, someone standing here with both hands out. They're not going to fight you like that, but that gives me four options or four directions I can go with my standing hip keto arm bar. The first option, I can go to the outside, which will let me attack the back of the elbow and arm. Second option, I can go to the inside and let me attack under to the elbow and arm. Third option, I also come to the inside, but now I swim over and attack the elbow and arm. And then the fourth option, a little bit different, I come under and I don't attack the arm. I attack the neck. So today, we're going to look at option number two, coming from the inside and attacking the bottom to the arm. But instead of just selling with that one very simple half keto technique, we're going to add some self-defense in it from some traditional Jin Jin Kwan to bring the entry in. And I'm going to take a principle I learned studying in North Carolina with uh, Grandmaster John Hobbs, founder of Sado Ru Goshen Jiu Jitsu. He's a Carlos Machado black belt. And here's the principle. It's from the Machado's brothers. It's a machine gun submission. So instead of selling with one submission and trying really hard for it on the ground, you swim to the next submission, then the next submission, then the next submission. And at any moment, that person's going to submit. We're going to take that same ground fighting Brazilian Jiu Jitsu principle of machine gun submission attempts, and we're going to do it at the top of this. We're going to do a Jin Jin Kwan entry, and then we're going to go submission after. Ready, guys? Yeah, close. Dude, too much magic, man. Wow. Right wrist with your left hand. Put your right arm under his right elbow and throw. On the ground, control his arm with your knee. Okay, so here's what's happening. First technique, the attack. He's coming at me, maybe he's a softer attack, or maybe he's a belligerent drunk, maybe he's someone who, who knows me a little bit, but for whatever reason, he's not coming at me with that hand maker today. He's coming at me like that. Out exposed, please don't hurt me, mercy, mercy. So he brings my back, brings my things back, but my hands aren't gonna get together like I'm praying or like I'm a cop. I'm just gonna be relaxed, hands are here, I'm talking it out to you. Hey, look, man, you've had enough to drink. Boom! When he comes to attack, I'm gonna do my knife hand side, and they're just gonna push out just like that. I can come out just like this and try to try to fight with him, but I'm just going to take as much energy as I have to push out initially, the first push. Once I push his hands out, and I know he's clear, he's not going to touch me, my right hand, because I'm attacking this side, the left side today, my right hand is going to push, and I'm going to push with my whole shoulder. And the reason I'm going to push with my whole shoulder is because after I push, I want my shoulder to come into his uh, sternum, solar plex, whatever, the, the chest. Once I clear his hands here, and I push, and I get ready to drive my shoulder in, my face is not going to look at him. I'm not going to drive in here and get head bumped in the face, get my eye cut open. Attack when they come together. Now see, they both came together. Nobody but see, see, look at that. Look at that. It's almost as if he got a resounding head blow with, by, a, by a fist. Now that's no, it's even worse, too, Bernie. You see it again. He doesn't see it. His head turns aside, and it just, you know, 
Again, yeah. shots of temple shot to the head that can shut off your spinal cord a little bit. But you know, yeah, it uh, guns the brain a little bit. But that wasn't only really feels well, they both Get my whole face messed up. I'm going to turn my head this way so my face is protected, and the only part of me that headbutts is my hairline. So, first thing, boom! That, my head comes in for a headbutt. So I'm going to headbutt him in the face, and I'm going to shoulder butt him in the side as I turn my body. Keeping in mind, my headbutt is going to be my hairline. Not my thing. I'm not trying to take a headbutt for a headbutt. A lot about headbutts. Did you notice the headbutts by Evander? What was your assessment of that? Do I call an active battle? Both guys, you know, leverage their heads. That's their styles, and that's how they fought. So that's why, you know, point there wasn't a dirty thing. They just lay their heads on each other. There was no intention. If this affects him and he falls back, I still have him hooked here and here. So when he comes in, boom! I got him hooked up right here, ready for me to hold this arm. Right into my body as hard as I can. If I'm grappling, maybe I'll hold this right here to give me a little better uh, control. Now this hand is just going to push against the elbow. So he comes in. Boom! Lock. Now, if I want to be mean, if I'm on the street, instead of this hand just holding tight, this hand is going to pull in like that while this hand pushes out. So, against each other. Wah! If that breaks his arm, I'm taking him down. If it doesn't break his arm, I'm not coming back over. I'm still under. This hand is going to pull out as my body slides, slides over like a wave. Woo! As my wave slides over, he comes with me. Woo! Instead of letting him fall on top of me, I'm going to stop him with an elbow strike to the liver. All right, guys. So let's talk about liver shots for a minute. Let's talk about liver shots, and let's talk about myth busters. Two, two myths are, are quickly busted with liver, liver shots. Here's the liver right here. On the right side right here. There's not two livers. We don't have a liver here and here. We have one liver here. Everyone knows from boxing, kickboxing, MMA, you take a good liver shot, you're going down. Even Kyokushin karate guys like to do that. Here's the thing. Myth number one. People often say you need to learn how to strike, kick, and punch on both sides, switching stances. No. My, my stance is designed to attack certain strategic targets on your body. I throw a rear leg roundhouse kick to your liver because your liver is on this side. So I train my one leg and my one kick to hit that. I throw a modified spinning back kick with one leg to this side, not to this side. I don't need to kick this side. I want to kick this side. Same thing with boxers. They want to hit that side. So if you ever question, should you like really focus on doing your techniques on both sides 100%, I would say no. Figure out which side you're stronger on, which side has vital points that are only on that one side, and start training to hit that side. Okay, myth number two, pressure points. Come on, guys, Meridians, stop it, okay? If I want to attack you and I want to cause you to drop to your knees, I want to attack your liver. Your liver is here. My liver's not here. My liver's not here. My liver's not here. My liver's not here. Aiden attacks me, and I hit him with my knife hands here all day long. It hurts, doesn't it, Aiden? Yes, it hurts, but it doesn't affect him like it would to a direct shot to the liver. Stop saying that your organs have meridian points in other parts of your body and spending so much time focusing on those parts. If you want to hit someone with a liver shot, boom, hit them with a liver shot. Boom, in the gut. If that doesn't drop up, this hand comes back up, this leg turns, a drop, say a nine again. That elbow strike to the liver, this hand's going to come back up to trap. This leg goes behind, I come this way, and I do my all-time favorite, a drop, say a nine again. Hey, Mike, can you give us your assessment of what happened there, Mike, in this fight? Um, All right. I really wasn't aware of what happened, but um, you said you just put a good fight. Are you alright now or are you still a little bit out? I'm okay. My, my eye hurts a little bit, but I'm fine. A lot of your corner here has been complaining about the headbutts. Were you headbutted by Evander Holyfield? He headbutt me, but I probably headbutt him too. Hey man, you drunk, man. Go on. 
Okay, guys, thanks for watching our first 2019 Gorilla Hep Keto Move of the Week video. We're going to try to keep these up every every week, maybe bi-weekly. Special thanks to Sensei Andreas Tocate here at Success Karate in Tampa, Florida. One of the strongest, one of the most hardcore, full contact karate, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, and coming soon, Gorilla Hep Keto Schools to Train at. Keep it old school.